built in 1773-75 to 75 by the 3rd Earl of Effingham. Boston Castle was originally a shooting lodge, used for hunting the extensive ground surrounding the castle. The Earl was an interesting character who was educated at Eton, the same educational establishment that many Prime Ministers, politicians and business leaders have attended over the years. The Earl then entered the army and even spent a period of time working as a mercenary fighting in Russia against Turkey, while later in his life becoming the Vice Admiral of Jamaica, credited for overseeing improvements in the working and living conditions of slaves. In 1791, the Earl died in Jamaica, only a month after his wife had passed away. The castle is located 300 feet above sea level, with stunning views of the valley below, and is one of the highest points in Rotherham. It was named to commemorate the Boston Tea Party, an event in America protesting against British rule, which involved destroying a shipment of tea. The Earl disliked British conduct in the American colony and was sympathetic to colonists' desires to be independent, using his place in the House of Lords to voice his frustrations and gain support. He felt so strongly about the issue, he even banned tea being consumed inside the castle. The castle is a Grade II listed building and is made from red sandstone quarried from Boston wood. Quarrying ceased there in 1872. The surrounding parkland was made Rotherham's first public park in 1873 when Rotherham Town Council was given a 40-year lease to rent the land for £50 a year. The surrounding park was originally designed by head gardener Mr Alberston and featured over 40,000 plants. Mr Alberston would go on to become the park keeper for 32 years, up until his death in 1908. In keeping with the theme of American independence, the grand opening was scheduled to take place on the centenary of the Declaration of American Independence from British rule. Up until the opening of nearby Clifton Park in 1891, Boston Park was known for its sporting facilities with bowling, cricket, tennis, football and other sports taking place there. The castle was inhabited for a significant period of its life but fell into disrepair when it became unoccupied in 1996. Although the interior was in a poor state of repair some original features can still be seen in these pictures. Restored in 2012 with money from the Lottery Heritage Fund it is now open to the public and used to host organised events and learning services for children. There is a meeting room available for hire on site and an amphitheatre available to hire for public performances. On request, visitors can gain access to a viewing platform on the rooftop which reveals stunning views of the local area. These pictures were taken in 2009 before any renovation work was started. Thanks for watching and please feel free to like, share, subscribe and check out my other videos.